hello everyone this is defense politics asia and uh this is the uh analysis or tracking of the ukrainian uh, counter offensive and all offensive or the preparation or if you think that it haven't started and uh before i start i want to say that uh for those that have been following the bug mood updates on the main channel you need to go and subscribe to the uh dpa war channel so what is the dpa war channel is uh this one this is the dpa war channel the orange one you're now on the black one so go to the orange one subscribe uh you see the only twenty eight thousand subs clearly you guys are not subscribed over there go over to subscribe uh there is a lot of things over here uh you you if you will have missed a lot of good shit, you know all the sim rep is here so uh i want to move the bug mode updates over there so anyway uh this the ukrainians uh apparently according to the the southern command has said that the counter offensive has already started uh, according to them this is happening quietly and in small steps and uh, this is actually then corroborated uh by actually earlier by the deputy defense minister hana malia and uh, they said uh she or he hana sounds like a girl uh, says that the counter offensive action is already being carried out uh, in several directions so and in fact the defense of bermud is one of these uh actions so this is why uh we can kind of uh start to look at this uh ukrainian actions as as actually part of a wider offensive action and uh, it looks like all these uh, probing attacks that i have i have been uh, highlighting is indeed part of the operation of uh, the ukrainian forces trying to uh, probe the russian lines and look for weakness so that they can actually break through and and who knows this might actually be actual attacks so fighting is re uh, there is fighting reported uh, in the kupians front in the massivka as well as sinkivka as previously is the sinkivka region is one of the key ones that uh the the ukrainians are actually taking uh making a lot of uh attention putting a lot of attention on and then there, there is also uh fighting reported at uh, kromalny as well as novo Selitsky. Uh, not exactly sure where the Novo uh push is. I might be in the north, might be in the south. Because if they go west, uh, go east, it will actually literally just be uh, Kuzimivka, right? So it looks like it could be in the north or it could be in the south. So um, so this is these are the probing actions within the Kupians and the Svetove region. Uh, there is also more things. Uh, they they are also attacking at uh, Shifuno Popivka and uh, Toske so uh this are probably still probings and uh, there's nothing over at the severs front uh over at the kupians region the ukrainians uh actually fall back uh and it looks like they're gonna fall back into this uh this fortress of high-rise building uh it's like a voleda within bakhmut so it looks like they're gonna fall back into this area here and uh let's see whether this can hold as strong as voleda itself and um then we go on to uh to the edifka front so we are now over here uh in north of donet city at the edifka front we have a reinforcement reporter at novo kalinove and uh that's all we have over in this area here so there is this uh, reinforcement here it might be something to do with the russian attacks uh in this area uh have been quite quite heavy lately so maybe they are just reacting to the the russian uh, forces that is have been pushing over in this direction uh thinking that they actually need some reinforcement to manage to hold a line around here um and uh, we go on to the donets front at the donets front the the, uh, the ukrainian forces is actually probing at a uh, solid k region around this area here and uh moving towards Sh uh, shevchenko so this is reported by the russian defense ministry um still not really a uh, real offensive just yet and then there's a, a series of reinforcement or re uh, of deployment of forces in this area here uh at Shataske, uh so so these are the same one so the first rifle battalion of the first brigade of the armed forces of ukraine is transferred to Sh uh, Shataskoye, which is this place and the second rifle battalion is transferred to bolatsky which is actually over here the and then there's a jet division of the first brigade uh, arriving at the novo krikorivka which is here and then and then a self-propelled uh, division uh, moved to novo pill so 
uh, there, so there is some significant uh, redeployment or deployment of uh, forces into this area, uh, into this front line here, and uh, is it might be a uh, preparation for some uh, big actions, and it looks to me there since we ha already have one around here, and then we have another big one over over here, we m this will probably do be an offensive uh, moving south. Uh, and then there will be probably another one here this as this one is particularly uh interesting because this area here uh is actually looks pretty weak to me this area here looks actually quite weak because the actions tends to be around voleda region so if the ukrainians actually able to make a push uh down along the the series of uh, towns along the river this could actually pose a massive threat to the russian lines uh, how strong is this Russian line around this area here? Uh, is uh, is quite unknown because most of the entrenchment is actually uh, as you can see, there's one already. I already met over here. There's multiple lines of defense over here, and some are stretching a bit more. And the Ukrainians pushing through this area here to capture uh, Melitopol will face a lot, a lot of problems. And uh, there is some rumors. Uh, from my own sources talking about uh, Anahoda, so there might be a attempt to push towards there and so this could be a bit challenging but if they push this way who knows they can actually do a massive PR victory by capturing a Mariupol in if the Russians are not careful so uh, there is no probing attacks within the Zaporizhia region so the probing attacks is only these two here and there is oh, no more actions around Kherson uh, to be reported. However, there is a uh, Russian shelling at Petikaki. So not sure what's there that they are being shelled, shelled by the Russians, particularly over there. So the if you look at the shelling over here at Makivka and uh, Nevsky, there could be also uh, Ukrainian forces gathering up around this area as well. So uh, a lot of actions uh, over the past 24 hours and uh, interesting statements coming from the Ukrainian uh, spokesmen and uh, leadership. So we, we shall continue to monitor the Ukrainian uh, counteroffensive. Anyway, uh, please press the like button. Do subscribe if you have not subscribed. And uh, do give me encouragement in the comments to carry on this series. And I'll see you in the next update.